Hello everyone. The Lord be with you and also with you. Gosh, it's October already. The jacarandas are in flower. We rapidly seem to be moving towards the end of the year. Where's it all gone to? But let's stay in the present. I'm going to read today's gospel reading. And so listen to the good news proclaimed in Luke's gospel, chapter 10, reading verses 10 to 16. 13 to 16, sorry. Glory, Glory to Christ, Christ our Saviour. <clears throat> woe to you, Chorazin. Woe to you, Bethsaida. For if the miracles that were performed in you had been performed in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more bearable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And you, Capernaum, Will you be lifted up to the skies? No, you will go down to the depths. He who listens to you listens to me. He who rejects you rejects me. But he who rejects me rejects him who sent me. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. In the previous chapter of Luke's gospel, we read that Jesus has set out now on the final journey to Jerusalem. And we find that he's sending 72 disciples ahead of him to preach in the towns and villages. He's given them their instructions and he warns them that it won't be straightforward. In some places they will be rejected. That's something he'd experienced himself, and he knows it's going to happen. And then he warns the unrepentant towns of the judgment that will be brought down on them. They have seen the miracles of healing. They've heard his teaching, but still they reject him. This is known as one of the harsh sayings of Jesus, but sometimes hard things need to be said and we shouldn't shy away from them. So this passage speaks about judgment. It's not something we like to spend too much time thinking about, but it's not something we can get away from. We prefer to remember the love and mercy of God, but God's word is quite clear. We will be judged according to how we have lived our lives. In this passage, Jesus is calling down judgment on those towns where he was rejected. We must never forget our corporate responsibility. We must pray for Durban, for all the people who live there. We remember again that powerful verse from 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. This passage from Luke is about listening to the message of Jesus and accepting or rejecting it. As a community, we are to seek his face. If we reject him, then we must not be surprised if he does not hear us. And that's when I remember and thank him for the work of the Dennis Hurley Centre, led by people who have truly heard him. They attend to the practical needs of feeding, finding shelter for the poor. They teach them skills help them to learn to provide for themselves, for example, through the booksellers. They're also helping people get IDs so that they can vote and so that they can get vaccinated. And in fact, they've set up a vaccination centre right there at Dallas Hurley. They preach the word of God through their actions and many have been rehabilitated saved through their work. Jesus, in this passage we read, seems to have been talking about direct preaching. But I think that what is happening in the center of our city gladdens his heart, as Dennis Hurley shares his love. 
We must pray that his messages spread even further and wider. Remembering that we are his disciples today and he's sending us out too. It is through us that his message will be spread. So we need to spend time in prayer, listening to him, so that we can truly know his love and then share it with others. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pray for our city of Durban, that your word may be spread there through agencies like the Dennis Hurley Centre, Youth for Christ, and many others who do your work. We pray for all those who work at these agencies. Give them the strength to keep on sharing your love with others. We pray for the upcoming municipal elections, that they may be peaceful and that good people may be elected who will have a heart for others, especially the poor and marginalised. Lord, we pray for ourselves too. We know there are times when we do not listen carefully to, our, to your words, times when we haven't put you first and foremost in our lives, times when we have failed to love others as we should, times when we should have spoken openly about the gospel and failed to do so. And we are sorry, Lord. And we pray that through the power of your Holy Spirit, we will become better disciples spreading your message in our communities. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray for our country. Lord, grant us a vision for our land, a land of justice where none shall prey on others, a land of plenty where poverty shall cease to fester, a land of work where all can be employed. A land of openness, where all are accepted as equal. A land of healing, where hatred and racial prejudice exist no more. A land of peace, which is free of violence. Bring this vision to fruition, for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And we pray for all Africa. God bless Africa. Guide our leaders, guard our children, and give us peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you, all those for whom you pray and whom you love. In Jesus' name, amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Goodbye, everybody. Stay safe, keep well. See you soon. Open.